Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, it is New Year's Eve day. It's 1248 and we just got home. Um, hub, hubby's off, I told you guys yesterday. So excited. He's off Mondays and Tuesdays anyway, but he got off for um, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So he'll be, he's off a nice four days. So he's going to be here four days. Oh, we can strangle him like a chicken. <laughs> no, I'm so glad he's going to be here. So glad. Anyway, <laughs> so we just got home. We had to run out early and because I didn't have a car yesterday. So we had to run out today and get um, our groceries, you know, for a little bit for the week and for the, you know, for the, for New Year's and everything. So that's what we did. So I'm going to show you what we did. We went to ShopRite, which we probably should have went to Walmart, but we were avoiding Walmart this week because it's just crazy over there. So, um, yeah, so we went to ShopRite. So this is what we got, guys. I'm going to start over here. We got two bags of these barbecue, wise barbecue chips, my husband's favorite. Um... We got those. We got, um, I got a loaf of bread. Now, I'm telling you guys, I haven't been buying regular bread. I have 647 bread, which I have a loaf in there that I had for probably three weeks. That's still in there. That happens to be very fresh still. I don't know why, but it's very, very good still. So I, I have one in the freezer also, but I said, let me get some a loaf of regular bread. The only problem is, is that we don't eat a lot of bread now. So I didn't, I, it's like, I almost didn't want to get it because I was like, if worse comes to worse, I could stick it in the freezer if I have to. I don't want it to go bad, but I needed a loaf of bread. Okay, so I got a loaf of bread. I got a package of these at ShopRite because um, these are really good for, for like um, the, the lasagna I'm going to make and just, they're like, I don't even know how much these are, $4.99, $5.99, something like that. Um... So it's just really, really good to have in the house. We needed some more paper dishes, so we just grabbed these. They were five dollars, I think, for like fifteen plates because we're gonna have a lot of nashis and all that stuff. So we needed that. I'm gonna bring you over here so I can show you the stuff that's over here because my tripod, guys, is broken, and we're getting why. we're getting another one today. Why? Because because I broke it. Sugar-free. Sugar-free. Why doesn't it say sugar-free on here? Oh, yeah. Yes, you, no, the iced coffee. See, three equal. So good, guys. It's not sugar-free. It's just regular iced coffee with equal, not... Oh, yeah, it's, no not, it's not sugar-free. That's why there's no, no sweetener in it. So it's just coffee with the, with the cream and with equal. Very good. I got some English muffins because now Jennifer is on a breakfast breakfast sandwich kick. And I could have bought one of those boxes of breakfast sandwiches. I usually get them when I do buy them when she's on that kick at Aldi, but I'm not going to Aldi right now. And so um, it's just easy to make them. So I got a thing of the bowl and basket, which is the, um, the, the ShopRite brand English muffins. I got a thing of mozzarella, a big thing because we're going to be making lasagna tomorrow, guys. My mom's favorite meal. So that's a order to my mom for tomorrow. Um, I got another big, big bag of cheddar because we use this like it's going out of stock. Another low-carb um, thing of tortillas. These I got, I know, guys. Listen, don't, don't judge me. We were in Dollar General. I had to run in there to get whipped cream that I had forgot. At this food store, I only got one. I needed two. And um, I was starving, and I couldn't find the stuff that we had bought in the bags. So I was like, just just give me this. So I had like three of them, and I was choking to death. These are my favorite. That's an accident. These are my favorite. But anyway, I had a few. Um, listen, we stopped, at the, we stopped at the alcohol. We stopped at the liquor store because I forgot to get cooking wine or wine in the, in, in the food store. Because tomorrow, no, tonight, I'm, shit, Bill, I got to get those muscles in. Um, tonight, we're having mussels in wine and garlic butter sauce. So we stopped at the liquor store, and I got a $6 bottle of wine. I asked the liquor guy, the, the, the guy in the store, what what's good for, you know, cooking mussels in? He said, oh, this is perfect. So this is what I got. It was only like $6, $7. Um... 
I got two things of lasagna, one angel hair, I got a penne, I got two boxes of onion um, soup mix because we're going to have dip, two onions, a box of Velveeta, I have to hide this from my son because as soon as he sees, as soon as he sees mac and cheese, he's like, am I having mac and cheese? Drives me crazy. Anyway, so I, I only got one whipped cream when I was in ShopRite. So um, when we were there at Dollar General, I said, I got to run in and see if they have whipped cream. And this is all I had. They had this type. So I got one of these. I got turkey breast. I got butter, two, two cream cheeses. Lately, I've been to, into a lot of things with cream cheese, like making meals with cream cheese. And cream cheese is just such a good staple to have. I think like sour cream and cream cheese, if you have that in your refrigerator, like you can make anything. Like there's so many things you can make, you know, hors d'oeuvres, snacks, dinners, everything with cream cheese. I got two of these croissants. Actually, I got one at ShopRite. And then when I was at Dollar General, they had them and they were cheaper than they were at ShopRite. So I got one more croissant because I got a big package of hot dogs. But guys, I, I just gotta, I'm gonna tell you, I really got sick to my stomach in the food store. Like, I really felt like I was going to have a panic attack because just the prices of everything. And, you know, and, and the thing is, is, like, it's food. So you need it. You need it. You have to have it. And it's like, I wrestle with the fact that, oh, my God, like, what are, what are you supposed to do? Like, you know, it's just, it's, I really got sick to my stomach that I really had to check myself because I felt like I was going to puke because I just was so, like, Oh my God, like everything is over $4. Everything that used to be like $1.50 is over $4. It's horrible. It's horrible. I got six lemons. I'm not going to show you more, but I got six lemons. I got two more bags of broccoli because we've been eating broccoli like it's going out of style. I got, listen guys, look what I got. I'm making a pistachio cake for tomorrow's dessert. Um, tonight, we really we really don't have a dessert on, on um, New Year's Eve. Um, but tomorrow we'll have a dessert. So I got these. These were also my mom's favorite. My mother used to buy these. She would get like um, like the canned um, fruit, like the peaches and the, the pears and all that stuff and strawberries and she whipped cream and she'd make like little whipped cream things. And these, it's so cheap. I mean, you know, the strawberries are $5. And, but uh, these were only $3. So you figure five, six, seven, and like $12 for a little cute different dessert. So we got that. I got these for Jenny and I, snacks. You know, the, the little uh, store brand bowl in the basket. Um, they have cranberries and cashews and ch sharp cheddar cheese. So I got those. Let's bring you over here. Oh, wait. We, Billy got these at Dollar General. Okay, he has to have his little chocolate fix. Oh, guys, can I, I'm just going to show you. I'm sad, guys. He's taking the truck off the tree. Okay, until next year. That's all, right? Everything comes to an end. What are you going to do? Um, all right, let me <coughs> move yours over here. I'm doing all the work. Oh, I'm doing other work, mister. <laughs> um, let's see. I got... Is there a glare here? And Cooper's supervisor. Let me turn it this way. Right. Is he? Yeah, he's Breakfast sausage. I got a lot of meat, guys, which I'm very, very happy about because we spent a lot of money and at least we got meat. I got a thing of chicken cutlets. They were on sale, $1.99 um, a pound, which was really a good buy. They had steaks on sale. They had the thicker ones, but the thicker ones were like just more money, so I got... Um, two packages of the thin steaks. They were um, a good price. I got a thing of um, these um, of this ground sausage because I'm gonna make this thing that, that my husband saw. Where you, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you because when I make it, you're gonna love it. I'm not gonna tell you, but I'm gonna make a recipe Bye. for a video with this ground sausage. I got a big thing of sour cream because we're gonna have dip and we can use it, guys. Ever since I made pork chops the other night, pork chops yes, yesterday, I don't know what it is, but I'm just in the pork chop mode. Like, I want a pork chop right now. So, they had pork chops on sale. They had the center cut 
pork chops bone in on sale. Now my son doesn't like the bone in, but he just cuts around the bone now because I think the bone ins are so much better and so much juicier than the than the boneless. I just feel like the boneless always are tough, and I just don't not crazy about it. So anyway, yeah, a dollar ninety nine a pound. This big package for seven eighty eight. There's like seven pork chops in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think the six, six for this. And so what? I, I We don't need all these, but what I'll do is I'll take them out and individually wrap them like in three and three, you know, because I only eat one, if that. Jenny eats one, Frankie eats two or whatever, and Billy doesn't really eat them, so yeah. Great buy. When stuff's on sale, guys, if you can, at least get one. I mean, I know if I had extra money, you know, if I had money just grown in the bank or whatever, like a lot of money right this moment, I would probably have bought a couple of packages of those. But you can only do what you can do. Yeah. And that's it. I got this ham steak for Bill. Um, this is a regular one. And I saw this one, honey ham. Woo! Love that. I got a thing of the meatloaf mix because I'm going to be making Swedish meatballs. I don't know what I'm making all this stuff, but I'm going to be making it. <laughs> no, I'll make it. Um, chopped meat for meatballs because tomorrow's my Italian gravy, guys, and lasagna. Very excited. Um, bacon. A big package of sausage for our gravy. Um, chicken legs. Chicken drumsticks. Guys, at first we didn't see any chicken wings. Then I looked over on the side. They didn't have any big family packs of chicken wings. None. I looked over on the side and I found these. They're organic. It says, um, are they organic? Yeah, all natural, all na natural chicken. Hatched, raised, and harvested. You know, no hormones, no nothing. But they were three ninety nine a pound. So I got a big, two big packages for nine bucks each. So you're talking not even twenty dollars, about twenty bucks for for two packages. So that was reasonable. Um, I got a French vanilla, sugar free French vanilla. I got a big thing of ragout for our lasagna. Guys, oh my God, I forgot to tell you. They had heavy cream. They literally had heavy cream, but you could see that it didn't have a lot. So I grabbed one because I needed it for a recipe, and I like to have it in the house always anyway. Because I got news for you. When I made the heavy cream, the homemade heavy cream, I felt like it wasn't like the same. Like it was a little bit thinner than it should have been. I don't know. I just don't think it was the same as regular heavy cream. And I got one half and half. And then here's the whipped cream that I got, the Cool Whip. I should have got two, but I only got one, so that's why I got that other whipped cream. Um, whoop. What else? We got Poopy some new treats. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I have to show those. All right, don't, don't remind me to show those. I got, we got Poopy and Bro Bro some new treats. We got these for them. Because, you know, they have to have some new treats. Because Bro Bro's coming over. He's going to be here soon. He's sleeping over for New Year's. <laughs> He's going to bring in the new year with us. Two um, blue cheese. We didn't get fat free, right? Because a lot of times I do that by accident. Um, because we're having chicken wings, uh, a coffee creamer. We got a bowl in the basket coffee. Um, guys, please, the eggs again. I don't even, I don't even want to talk about it. I, I got, a, I got a, 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 a 18. I don't even want to tell you how much it was. I'm not... I think it was five dollars, maybe a little more. I don't know. What are you gonna do? You need freaking eggs. I don't have chickens in the back yet. Mayonnaise. <laughs> so I had gotten. I, I picked an olive oil, right? It was like this. Like it was much less. Oh, it was. Wait a minute. Let me show you because I have it here. Let me show you. This right here. This size, which is twenty-five point five ounces, right? This was $7. We walk by on the end cap and we see this olive oil, which was 33.8 ounces. So it's like double for $5.99. Woo! I was like, yes. So I put that other one back and I got this because this was a better buy. And it was, only, it was cheaper. This was like $7 and this was $5.99. So, you know, and it's, and it's a good name brand. I usually buy the... The freaking great value brand or the shop brand, 
you know, the bowl and basket pan, whatever. I don't always buy like the best olive oil. And I, and, and actually, I always get my olive oils at Aldi. Aldi has the best price and their olive oil is delicious. So, another good buy, happy about that. Um, I got a little honey bear because we're running out of honey. We don't have any more. All right, guys, we're going to set up our salt and my electric salt and pepper shakers. I'm so excited about that. So we got some pink Himalayan salt. We got um, peppercorns. Oh, the, the prices of the herbs. Like, oh, my God, guys, I can't. I, we got two of these. I, got, I had to buy a little thing of parsley because I didn't have any other parsley, and, and this was the only one I saw, and I said, you know what, let me just grab it in case I need it, because I'm not sure if I have it. I need all spice too, for one of the recipes I'm making. I, I don't think I have any up there, so I said, let me buy it. Honey barbecue sauce for the wings. I got six or seven cans of the um, plum tomatoes for my gravy, a big thing of grated cheese, another thing of the hamburger dill pickles, and Bill got, he usually gets the cans of soda, but he got, the bottles were a very good buy, so he's been getting the bottles lately. As long as you don't open them, because he drinks like one or two sodas a day. He doesn't drink a lot of soda, but sometimes the, he, the, the bottles go flat, so you just have to make sure you close them tight and you don't open them 50,000 times, because, you know, that, that, then it goes flat. But, yeah, we got the bottles of soda. Um, so I showed you, I think I showed you everything. The coffee, we got my medications, that's not interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's all our stuff, guys. So I have a lot to do. I gotta go now because I have to, um, I have to make, oh, I didn't show you this. Let me show you this. So here are the, we got, we went to the farm again, guys. I told you I'm making stuffed clams again. So here are the clams in the thing there. And here are the mussels. Like, like I said, I'm making the mussels in the in the lemon. And yeah, lemon butter wine sauce. Yum, yummy. Um, so we got that. And there are the shells right there. The lady, the lady at the farm place that I go to, the seafood place, knows me. She's like, bye, Linda. <laughs> like I, said, I think she knows me because I said my name. You know, I had to give my name or whatever, but... I go in there, I mean, I don't really, I go in there sometimes during the year for certain things. Yeah, I do. Not a lot, but um, every single year I go there for my seafood, um, for, the, for the clams and the, everything for Christmas. So the same people are there. They know me and they know they're going to get some moolah out of me. So anyway, guys, that's what we're doing. A big one? Little. So Billy's... Um, He's doing the living room, getting the, the Christmas tree all um, separated, you know, all off and um, getting the living room organized. And so um, that's what he's doing. And this is what I'm doing. So, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, when you subscribe, you help my channel grow. And I so, so appreciate it. Guys, like and subscribe. I, what? Like and subscribe. I, I, I say that. He's over here telling me what I have to say. Um, you, I lost my train of thought now. Like and subscribe. I love the subscribe. Like comment. What? Subscribe to my channel because it really helps my channel grow and I so appreciate it. Like and share and um, don't forget to hit that notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. And... Um, comment down below, guys. Love, love, love when you comment. I know this ham support today isn't that funky. It's a little, I mean, it's funky today, so, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> just random, guys. I'm a crazy lady. I am a crazy lady. Anyway, this crazy lady from Create with Linda is going to go and get some stuff done, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Woo! <laughs> Please, I can't break my iPad. That would be devastating. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.